Today, we are sharing the story of burial number nine, an unnamed black male as part of the Delaware Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs, Delaware Day 2020. In 2014, the Archaeological Society of Delaware, the Smithsonian Institute's National Museum of Natural History, and the Delaware Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs excavated burials of 11 individuals at an archaeological site called Avery's Rest in West Rehoboth. Eight of the burials showed signs of the Christian burial. This included oriented bodies to face east, and one burial had been wrapped in a shroud. The remaining three burials, two males and one child, were different, having been purposely buried apart from the others. The archaeologists had a hunch that these three segregated burials were those of black and slave individuals who worked the land at Avery's Rest. This was proven when the scientists from the Smithsonian carefully examined the bones and performed DNA analysis, concluding that these three burials were of African origin. The names of these three black individuals have been lost to time. The details of their life, however, are beginning to emerge through the work of the Delaware Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs and its research partners. Burial number nine has been determined to be a black male between the ages of 32 and 42 at the time of his death. Based on the artifact and historical evidence, his death and burial occurred sometime between 1674 and 1714. The DNA research discovered that he was of West or Central African birth. Through the careful examination of his bones, it is clear this man lived a life of hard labor. Further evidence of bone and joint deterioration means his work took a toll on his body and may have contributed to his death at a relatively young age. When he was buried, nothing of value or any discernible offerings were interred with him. Documentary research further sheds light on this man and his life. The land where he and others were buried was owned by John Avery, a wealth plantation owner from Maryland before moving to Delaware. Avery was an enslaver with ties to the slave trade in Barbados. It is likely that the unnamed black male in burial number nine was captured or kidnapped in Africa, endured the horrors of the Middle Passage from Africa to the Caribbean before purchased and transported to America. This black man was subject to injustice throughout his life, including his time in Delaware. This injustice continued even into death as he and the other black individuals interred at Avery's Rest were segregated from their white Christian enslavers. The social segregation expressed by these burials was prevalent at this time, and unfortunately, it endured throughout much of Delaware's history, despite many social changes. The archaeological discovery of this black male in burial number nine is a poignant moment in telling Delaware's history. The lies of the enslaved are often only told by those who enslaved them, and through what little archaeological evidence left to discover. Often, what we don't know about someone and their shared history is what inspires us to search for the truth. The Delaware Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs is committed to uncovering the story of this black male's life. It is also dedicated to restoring the dignity and place within Delaware's history and even discovering his name, if possible, so that it may be spoken again to say he is forgotten no longer.